Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Foreman, PhD in immunology. Many of my patients are very scared right now of the news of coronavirus and what it might mean for them and their family. Let's clear up a couple of facts and issues surrounding viruses and this particular class of virus, the coronavirus. Coronaviruses are a class of virus that we're very familiar with and oftentimes represent the common cold and possibly some strains of flu. There are many strains of this virus and sometimes they can be found in animals such as bats and possibly snakes. Bats have been known to carry over 200 different variants of coronavirus and it's suspected that in a market in which there were animals and people that somehow cross-contamination took place without people knowing it. So how can you catch a virus? Well, viruses can be caught in a number of ways depending on what kind of virus it is. In this case, it is a virus that is contaminated through droplets from our body in the terms of saliva and other forms of communication where we might ingest droplets that could be found on clothing or on surfaces that are not cleaned properly. This is what happens when people cough in an area of too close proximity. They're not covering their mouth. Perhaps they're sneezing and perhaps certain droplets of the sneeze or the cough can get onto surfaces and can even be directly contaminating someone through the eyes, through the nose and through the mouth. So what we want to do is we want to be very careful about contact with eyes, nose and mouth. We don't share glasses of water when we're trying to protect ourselves from viruses. We don't cough without covering our mouth and we certainly don't go to work or school when we're sick. If you find yourself in an environment, especially a closed circuit environment like an elevator, and someone is coughing without covering their mouth or even covering their mouth, the best advice is to get to the next floor in the elevator, get off and take the next one. Use basic precautions. So this would necessitate avoiding crowded closed places like elevators, like places where there are many, many people with their faces, with their heads very close to each other, talking, gathering, in closed circuit activity. Not getting the virus is not an assured thing. And the reason is, is because there are too many aspects of our environment that require interactivity with people. And we cannot simply disappear and not live life. Therefore, the only way to ensure that we can be safe from catching viruses that could be harmful or any other microbial infestation is to have an intact and robust immune system. Let's talk a little bit about things you can do to keep your immune system intact and robust. Number one is sleep. It has been shown and demonstrated in study after study that sleep enhances the immune system on many levels and sleep deprivation causes low immunity. This is why traditionally people know that when they don't sleep well, their chances of getting a cold or a flu go up immediately. The next thing that you need to think about is vitamin D. Our ancestors were in the sun eight hours a day and evolution had vitamin D as an essential part of immune health. Unfortunately, in our modern era, we have difficulty being in the sun and therefore we have low levels of vitamin D. A recommendation is to go to your health food store, Walgreens, CVS, or any other place where you can get these things and get vitamin D3 and take a thousand milligrams minimum per day. Another protection for the immune system is vitamin C. Unfortunately, there's a big misunderstanding about what vitamin C is. Asorbic acid is not vitamin C, but rather a fractionalized chemical that is part of the whole vitamin C complex. There's no riboflavin, no bioflavonoids, no tyrosinase in asorbic acid. 
Ascorbic acid is an antioxidant that works much better as a preservative than it does as an immune enhancer. So the recommendation is to get vitamin C in a whole food form from whole food ingredients so that you can have the 12 ingredients of vitamin C that's necessary to enhance immune health. There are a variety of homeopathic medicines that can be gotten from a practitioner who knows about these things that can gently but firmly enhance immune and keep your body from getting sick. And finally, fun. Fun, why? Because stress lowers your immunity. In fact, nature made it that when we're under stress and have to run or fight, our immune system practically gets shut off. And the reason is nature did not want us to have to deal with anything other than getting out of there when we had an emergency. When you get a cold and you feel malaise in your body, the malaise is not from the bacteria or the virus. The malaise is from your immune response to it. So nature turns it off in a stressful situation. And be sure, if you're entertaining constant stress, you're entertaining low immunity. So let's get smart. Keep our immune robust. Avoid silly interactions where we're touching people and scratching our eyes or putting fingers in our nose, not washing our hands, and things are going to work out much better. I'm Dr. Michael Foreman, PhD in immunology with this message.